Welcome back guys, my name's Sandy. This is Sewing with Sandy. It's a nice calm morning out here. We're just on the cusp of spring. We're starting to hear the birds come back and kind of a nice change. As you can imagine, seeing all this snow around for the last several months here in central Ontario, Canada, it gets a bit old. I'm out here at the sawmill today and you guys have probably seen this many, many times before if you've been around the channel. I'm out here at the sawmill where I'd normally take some logs, brush off the snow, roll them up here onto my sawmill and then cut it with my trusty 2017 Woodland Mills HM130. Today, that's going to be a little bit different because I'm taking that and I'm setting it off to the side because I'm gonna introduce you to something that I've been sort of alluding to for the last little while. What that is, is found right here underneath this tarp. Now you're probably saying to yourself, oh, I know what that is and you're probably right. This right here is an HM130 Max with a trailer. I'm very excited to show you this today. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna brush off the snow. We're gonna take the tarp off. We're gonna see what we got. I now have something that I can compare with the old 2017. Upgrades are always great, and I'm pretty certain this is gonna be one. Here we go. Well, first things first, this thing ever packaged well. It's kind of nice to see when you get it and it's encased in a steel frame here. probably reuse that. Safety chains. Well, it's kind of nice. Everything's individually wrapped, as you guys can see, so nothing was in here you know, banging around when it was being shipped. That's kind of nice. I don't know about you guys, but when I get something brand new, I don't really like getting it and it already have scratches on it. I kind of like being the person who does that. strap right there. Oh, that's got some weight. Okay, that's it. The hub assembly right there. All right guys, well, there you have it. That wasn't too bad. Everything's neatly packed. And so we'll go to the next layer. pieces have some weight to them. I'm 
in there. Hey, there we go. The old safety glasses. Look at that. Even got some earplugs. What are these things? Movement hour meter. Okay, there's my hour meter. Right on. Look at that thing. That's pretty sharp, eh? Good to me. on here's the scale scales uh there's two of them on there magnetic looks good okay and there's my there's my height adjustment that looks great all right leave that right there for now and then we'll go from there there it is owner's manual
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's the Woodlander trailer by Woodland Mills. Obviously, there's no sawmill on it. But if you're just interested in seeing the assembly of the old sawmill trailer, there it is. I'd say from a first look, this thing looks really, really nice. I've never seen this in person before, and so this is my actual first time putting it together and, and just going over it. I'd say those instructions were pretty good. It was pretty easy to do. Um, I just have some basic skills. I have some wrench skills. I used my impact driver, and things went pretty smoothly. All the hardware was easily marked. All the holes were exactly where they needed to be, and the instructions, as I mentioned, because they had good pictures and they were colored, um, I was able to follow them quite easily. So things look great. I'd say it looks pretty strong as well. We're going to get the sawmill built very shortly, put it on here. The last thing I'm probably going to do with this trailer here is I'll probably just go along and make sure that everything is zip tied. And I mean just these things right here, but uh, that'll be for later. Other than that, I'm quite happy. It's going to be a huge upgrade for me coming from this old thing, the 2017 Woodland Mills HM130. This thing's been flawless. It's a great unit, but this thing is going to change the game for me being able to move around and take the sawmill to where the lumber's at. So guys, make sure you come back next time for the next video. Um, that video is going to be actually building the HM130 Max, which is right there. And by building, I mean assembling. So we're going to tackle that next, but there it is. Great product. I think that's going to be a great addition to my place in cutting all the wood that I do around here. See you next time. And if you guys were following along closely, just one last thing for you. You would have noticed I didn't drill the hole, which actually locks the sawmill into place on the trailer. There are instructions. There's a drill bit, but I didn't do that because I'm going to wait until I have the sawmill sitting here. And that way I can position that hole perfectly. Another thing you noticed or didn't notice was I didn't actually go and torque all of these on camera. But there are torque specs in the owner's manual uh, for all of these nuts and bolts. And so make sure and go back and do that. You just didn't see me do it on camera, but it will be done. Thanks for watching. See you next time.